Skeen wants to know what it's like outside. <coughs> okay, Skeen. You want to see? It's a chilly billy out there. Come on. Look, you see that white stuff? You never saw that before, huh? It's a chilly billy. That's all I can say. Yeah. Chilly billy over there. See, Gertie eats it, but you shouldn't eat it. Do you want to go step on that? Ooh, it's a chilly billy, huh? Oh, boy. Uh-huh, not so nice, huh? So maybe now you won't stay around the door? Hmm? Yeah. Here, put some more on your posse poops. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, that's not so nice, huh? Oh boy. Oh boy, we put some more posse. Oh, Gertie gets into that. Yeah. What a weird dog, huh? Oh boy. She's a weirdo, that's for sure. She says, look at me, skinny. I'm a nutcase. Up, 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 up. Don't jump down, honey. Don't. <laughs> Pook. You love your gird, huh? Gertie, are you coming in like, like that? Oh. Skeen, skeen. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to go enjoy. I guess we're all going to go inside. And now you're going to shake it all off, right? Well, yeah, it's the day after. I canceled my, my guests and um, my young tenant, beautiful young man that I have staying with me, called the police over the, this old guy. I had the police here and... Uh, you know, just basically told them the guy's a fucking nutcase, you know? Sorry for the language, but it's the only way to describe him. So around 7 o'clock this morning, I saw some boxes that were being taken out, and I suspect he claimed he wasn't moving out. He was going to squat at the house, but I, I suspect that he's taking his stuff and just, just getting out of here. I, I don't need this shit in my life. Completely ruined my Christmas. Freaked out my dogs for, for two weeks. You guys don't need to be freaked out. It's unbelievable. You know, um, the other young man, Fred, he, he walks, comes and goes, comes and goes. Nobody has an issue. And as soon as this guy, I don't know how Puka knows it, as soon as he hears his footsteps just... <laughs> Puka's never like that. He barks, but he's, he's never growled. He, he hates the guy, absolutely hates him. But you're just glad. You're just so glad that mommy's at home alone. And look at the mess. I haven't cleaned up anything in, this is what, the 27th? And I had, uh, I had John over for Christmas and, and I just, I left everything on, on the table there and, and just, just left a mess because I, I've been too fucking scared to, to get out of my bedroom. Um, just, guys, a freaking nutcase. I, I just, really bad. I'm sorry for cursing. But I should take a lesson from my animals. They're, they're happy. They're happy. The house is empty right now. Whatever he took, he took. Um, there's still stuff in his room, so he still has to literally move out. But um, yeah, here's this is what he said. Here's here's his last uh, uh, bullshit note. Jane, I have food in my vehicle that must go inside the freezer. Make space, or I will have to make space. In other words, he he said he said I'll take all your all your homemade dog food and I'll throw it throw it in the garbage. <laughs> I don't have space, you know, buddy. You moved in, and uh, duh, you know, this is this is what my freezer looks like. 
What do you want? And the guy goes and buys a turkey and says, I, I need space for a whole turkey in, in your freezer. Just one thing after another, honestly. And I, I feel like I'm sounding like a nutcase, but, you know, sometimes when you have, you know, isn't, isn't there sort of a, a saying that, that uh, you know, if, you, if you're in a mental institution, you start talking like the patient? That's just crazy. 